So to get started, we'll search for open topography, SRTM 30 meter. The correct data set will be the SRTM GL1 global 30 meter as shown here. To download a digital elevation model for a specified area, we first scroll down to this map view and then zoom into the area for which we wish to obtain digital elevation data. For my test image, it's located in Cobb Down County, Georgia, so I will zoom in. I hit this button that says select a region to get started. And then I click and drag the cursor to cover the intended area. Once I'm satisfied with the covered area, I can scroll down. I can enter in my job title and description, as well as email address. And I can request a download for this area without having to sign in. I hit the submit button. After a moment or two, the job will finish and a download will be available for the covered area stored as a compressed tarball, which contains the GeoTIFF image. So, first I download that tarball and notice that it's in the tar.gz compressed format. To extract the GeoTIFF file from this tarball, we need to use a utility such as tar on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Or, if you, that's unavailable to you, you can use a program called 7-Zip on Windows. On Windows 10 or newer, we can simply open PowerShell. We can change into the downloads directory by typing cd space tilde, holding shift it's the button above the tab key, slash downloads. If I type in dir, D-I-R, it'll show the files in my downloads directory. To extract the tarball and obtain the GeoTIFF digital elevation model image, I can run the command tar space dash X V Z F space and then I can just type rosters and hit tab and the name of the rest of the file will automatically be completed and then hit enter. If I now look in my downloads directory I see that the GeoTIFF digital elevation model file has successfully been extracted. Now, for use with Open Athena for Android, I can copy this to my Android device using any number of means for moving a file, and then load it into Open Athena for Android.